New day, new creepypasta. This time around, we're going into the backstory of... I always freaking mispronounce his name. It's I think it's Cage Cow or Kage Cow. I... The reason why I say mispronounce it is because he he's supposed to be a Japanese demon. So, if I mispronounced it, I am terribly sorry. But he, yeah, he's definitely a Japanese demon, and his most iconic feature is a him wearing a black and white scarf with his signature black and white mask. Whereas, like the black part of the the black half of the mask has a white eyelid and white smile, the white part of the mask has a bl black eye and a black smile just depends on whether he's passive or, or aggressive. But, don't want to keep you all here too long, so without further ado, let's get into the stories. And now we dive into the backstory for. Uh, I might pronounce this right. It's either Cage Cow or Kakegawa. Uh, Kage Cow. This right here, yeah. Do you want to play? It's a yeah. One of his quotes is a demonic trickster who appears in the creepypasta of the same name. I just. I. I'm. I'm not too fluent with Japanese, and I'm also a bit dumb, so I'm just gonna pronounce it Cage Cow. And people who wanna fix my pronunciation in the comments, go right ahead. So he's a 21 year old Japanese demon who currently lives somewhere in America. He was born in Japan, but he was but when he was young he was separated from his parents Kuratsumi and Yoruyuki, who are presumed dead. He moved to America when he was around 18 years old. Physically, Kechikau is a 5 foot 4 gray skinned male with short, fluffy, straight black hair and silver eyes. Unusual for his species, Kechikau's eyes glow depending on his mood. When experiencing positive emotions, they emit silver white light. And when experiencing negative emotions, they appear to suck in light from around him. Because Gechikawa obsessively keeps his face covered by his mask, very, very few people know what his face looks like. That, that's that's all, a little bit interesting. Hmm. Tends to wear dark colors, usually black, and dresses for functionality and comfort, save his scarf. He has several, but but his iconic scarf is the striped black and white one he's wearing in most pictures. The scarf, I definitely know. The scarf, I definitely know what it's, what it's talking about, yeah. Gage Cow also always wears a split black and white mask that was custom made for him by the Shinigami Doraku Makimono at the request of his parents. It is blood bound to him. Only he can see through it and the light effect of his eyes is magnified and displayed across it. Because of the split black white, only one side is every lit up. Only one side is very lit up at once if he is happy. If he is happy, white eyes and a smile will show up on the black side only as the light doesn't stand out on the white side of his mask, and the opposite is true when he is upset. Yeah, so... If he's happy... So, if he's happy, then the white eye and the smile shows up on the black part of the mask. But if he's upset, then the black eye and the black sadistic smile shows up on the white part of his mask. That's... That's actually a clever... Thing right there. It's 
playfully sadistic and takes great joy in designing and enacting long, painful, and unusually fatal games on whatever victim he picks out. He tends not to use proper weapons, but instead relies on the cat-like claws on both his hands and feet? Excuse me? I'm sorry, excuse me? Both his hands and feet? And on occasion, a broken wine glass when he's feeling especially dramatic. That's fair. I forgot he likes wine. He's very fond of wine, video games, and speaking Japanese at people he knows will not understand him. His personality is generally very energetic, mischievous, and intelligent. In short, he's a trickster who loves to play pranks and mess with people and often goes too far. Kichika is incredibly agile and flexible and is an expert in the art of parkour. He's able to overcome all kinds of obstacles, such as walls and gaps with ease, and can easily maneuver around almost any kind of environment and is able to do parkour feats no one else can. He enjoys such feats like crawling across and sitting on the ceiling and scaling s the side of a building. I forgot he likes to do that. Uh, facts. Cage Guy was created by Jin. Wait. Jin Bazimizama, uh, formerly Ginka Akam. I'm. I might be pronouncing these wrong. I apologize. It's double joint is double jointed in almost all joints, and his joints can turn farther than normal and at odd angles. <laughs> Phew. I forgot about that. There's so much of these creepypastas I forgot about that I'm starting to remember. Has a fixation and love of scarves and other accessories. He also owns many of them. He loves wine. He's practically obsessed with it. He's very fluent in... He's very fluent in English. Really? He's fluent in English, and yet he likes to mess around with his victims by speaking Japanese when they can't s understand him. That's fair. Geichikao means shadow face in Japanese. I mean, yes, I know that. I understand that's what it actually means. <laughs> Just if you see me sh shaking my head, it's the fact that that's so close to my name. Because Kichikao means shadow face in Japanese, and yet you're sitting, and yet you're sitting here watching a video made by Shadow Force. <laughs> okay. Kishka was once canonically shipped Really? So Kishka was once canonically shipped with Suicide Sadie, but the creators of the two characters stopped talking with each other and ultimately decided to ship their OCs with other characters. Keichikao was also retconned into being homosexual. Keichikao is no longer shipped with Suicide Sadie. So there's, an, so there's another creepypasta ship that crashed and burned, apparently. And also, Suicide Sadie, that's another creepypasta I'll be going over on later down the, uh, in the month. Yeah, there are a few pieces of good fan art here. So first off, just want to remind everyone: there's this picture right here. But as far as fan art goes, um, yeah, there's some good ones here. Hey, look, that's there's the picture again. I 
we have this one right here. Uh, I can't see it that well because of my freaking webcam. See, that's a that's a good picture for Gage Cow right there. Hey, okay. So it looks like he's holding up his index finger there, and then in his other hand down here, he's holding a broken wine glass, if y'all can see that. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that picture. <laughs> I see that. I like, this looks good right here. Hold up. Let me zoom let me zoom in on that. So that is a picture that is a picture of so you have Cage Cow right here on the walls and he's pouring a glass of wine to Slenderman. As Slenderman it looks like Slenderman's out of his usual suit and tie. He's it looks like he's in set of pajamas like trying to relax a bit from like kidnapping and killing all the children in the forest honestly that's a pretty good picture yeah i like that picture hey you yes you behind the camera thanks for sticking around to the end hey this entire month of october 2022 there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.